Happy Friday, y'all. Hope everybody's doing well. I wanted to go over some mortgage acronyms for you. These are gonna be awesome and super exciting, and I'm super excited to tell you about it. So, acronyms. Here we go. I made a list here. L-O-X, L-O-E, L-T-V, D-T-I, P-A-R, or PAR, C-D. These are the acronyms that are used most in mortgage lending and your mortgage loan. So LOX and LOE, all right? These are both kind of the same thing. So it's supposed to be a letter of explanation. So why I would need a letter of explanation is like if you have a reoccurring payment or something like that, and they're trying to count it against your DTI, your debt to income ratio, so that everything works out, I need a letter of explanation to show that it's either a reoccurring payment and we have to count it against that DTI or we don't have to count it against that DTI. I don't know why some places call it an LOX. It should be an LOE. This is something that loan officers go back and forth on all the time. Is it an LOX or an LOE? Should be a letter of explanation. Simply, it's a letter that states, to whom it may concern such and such address I have no ownership interest in which takes us back to LTV. What the heck does LTV mean? Loan to value. So the key to loan to value is you wanna be under 80% LTV so that you don't have MI. What the hell is MI? See, I need to write that one back on here. What the hell is MI? MI, mortgage insurance, and then you have PMI, PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. So you wanna be under 80% LTV so that you're not paying PMI or MI, depending on which program that you're in. What the hell does PAR mean? PAR, P-A-R, PAR. What does PAR mean? PAR means zero. When you're playing golf and you're playing for PAR, that means if it's a PAR four, you have to get there within four strokes. So get there within four strokes, you're at PAR. So when we're referring to PAR in mortgage, we're talking about a PAR interest rate or zero. There's no discount points to it. There's no overage or underage in it. So par rate. What is a CD? A CD is a closing disclosure. It used to be called, so check this out. A CD used to be called, a few years ago, used to be called a HUD statement. So what is a HUD statement or a CD? It's a closing statement. So when your CD goes out, that means your closing statement went out and we know how much we need for funds to be able to close on your loan. Uh, so. When you hear your CD has gone out, it's very good. You're gonna be very happy. We have gone over these acronyms. It took us three minutes. I uh, hope everybody has a very pleasant day and enjoys the video. Let me know what your thoughts are. See ya.